This was our original design. It consisted of two sets of coaxial rotors. The primary purpose of this design was to test the feasibility of the structure and its practicality and reliability. The rotors serve as a baseline from which to verify our lift calculations and determine the performance characteristics of the rotors. Our final model that we will construct will also be of this same coaxial rotor configuration. We removed the top set of rotors to simplify testing and to reduce the cost of materials. Worth noting is that approximately the same number of rotations per minute were achieved with both the upper and lower set of rotors together as there were with just the lower set on its own, as seen here. The design of our rotorcraft allows for simple and rapid changes during testing. This test was our most successful and enlightening. It was from this test that we determined that operating a cambered airfoil, in this case a Clark Y airfoil, at zero degrees of pitch required the least amount of energy, generating the greatest amount of lift, and had the least amount of strain on the rotors and the structures. This is yet another demonstration of the rapid interchangeability of the rotors. This set of rotors has a linear twist of negative 16 degrees and is tapered 50% from 3 feet to 1.5 feet. This rotor has the same amount of lift and drag along the entire span at any given point. This is another modification showing the removal of one rotor and the installation of a counterbalance. The counterbalance was simply a brass rod that was the exact same weight of the rotor on the opposite side. Removing one rotor allowed us to nearly double the rotations per minute, which resulted in more lift being generated with just a single counterbalance rotor than was previously being generated with two rotors. We attribute the substantial gain in speed and lift to a massive decrease in the trailing weight vortices along the span of the rotor. This is a digital rendering of what the trailing wake vortices look like along the span of a rotor. Trailing wake vortices are not the same as wingtip vortices, but consume as much, if not more power as do wingtip vortices. This is why we reduced the set of rotors seen earlier in the video to zero degrees of pitch. For a cambered rotor, the ratio of lift to drag is highest near zero degrees angle of attack. Notice the significant decrease in trailing wake vortices from the decrease in the angle of the airfoil. Most commercial helicopters have symmetrical rotors that require a change in the pitch of the rotor to increase or decrease the amount of lift being generated. Cambered airfoils can generate lift without this increase in pitch. This is a three-dimensional rendering of how the next version of our human-powered helicopter will appear. The rotors will be set at zero degrees pitch to minimize profile drag and trailing wake vortices. The rotors will also have a very pronounced taper which will equalize the lift and drag along the span of the rotor. This is one more step we are taking towards creating a practical human powered helicopter. Thank you for watching, we greatly appreciate your interest in our project.